Welcome to Creative Tian channel. In this video, I'm going to make a hat or a hood or a hoodie. It's one piece combining a hat and a neck warmer or scarf together. So you will be very warm in the winter and still a little bit different from the usual hats or scarves. And this can be a good gift knitting project because you can adjust the uh, size easily. And I'm just going to use my LK150 knitting machine again. This one is not fancy. It's just plastic without any punch card or electronic patterning device. Here is my diagram and the design. I try to keep it simple. It's basically made of two pieces. There's a top rectangle shape and a neck rectangle shape. And the top one, you can fold it in half. It becomes a hat. And the bottom piece will become the neck. And I have the basic dimension here for adult size. And for the neck piece, I keep the front a little bit longer. So it's not too tight. But again, you can adjust all the dimensions based on your own design. And I'm going to use mock ribbon for this project because it's easy to do it on LK150. If you have other knitting machine with a ribber, you can make a ribbon separately and attach to your hoodie. And as usual, I have a little sample to calculate my stitches from. The yarn I'm using is from Yarn B Simply Flawless. After we knit two pieces, we can start assembly. So for the top piece, we fold it in half and sew the back side to form the hat. And uh, it's the same for the neck piece. I like to keep the sewing to the back side. And then I will connect the top and bottom piece by sewing together with a yarn and a yarn needle. And that's how I need this hoodie. So let's get started. For the top piece, I cast on 71 stitches. And every other needle, you will be around 35 stitches. And I will need 12 rows, fold it in half, hand the stitches back, and then knit another 45 rows and cast off. So I start from left 35, every other needle, until right 36, because it's every other needle, so I have to use odd numbers. And I will just use simple EROP cast down and then need 12 rows in tension 8. We'll hand some weights. Set tension to number 8. Change the counter back to 000, zero and need 12 rows. Now we will take off the weight and start hanging the first row back to the empty needles. Here's our first stitch. Empty needle. Hand it back. Then push all the needles out before we need the next row. Now we hand back the weight, change the counter back to 000, zero, zero change to tension 9, and I will need about 35 rows.
For the neck piece, it's all mark ribbon. So I use tension 8, cast on 110 stitches, and every other needle, it's around 55 stitches. And I need about 50 rows, hand the first row back to the empty needle, and uh, knit one row and cast off. So for the whole neck piece, it's double layered, so it will be pretty thick. For the button piece, I have it from the left, 55, and every other needle until right, 56. So we'll do it the same as before, cast on every other needle, and I do the e rub cast on. I have my tension set to number 8. Now I have 50 rows, I'm going to take off the weight, hand the first row back to the empty needle, and then knit one row and bind off. And this is what it looks like. This is the top piece with a little bit of mark ribbon. And I didn't need enough rows, so I hand it back and need another 10 rows. So you will see there's a seam here. It's always a trial and error process. And for the neck piece, this is the bind off edge. It kind of flare out a little bit. And it's, you can see it's double layered. So I can use the flare out part as the button and fold it in half this way. And I like this seam to be in the back side. And for the top, I fold it in half. And you will be like that. I just need to sew up this side and sew up the button, sew up the back. And I will make sure in the front, I prefer to leave a few inches so it's not too tight. But it's up to you. If you prefer to be warmer, you don't have to leave the empty space here. So the rest is just a sewing. I'll just cut a piece of yarn and use my yarn needle to sew up. So that's how I make the simple hoodie. I hope you enjoyed this project and see you next time.